bacon is frozen, so it does not want to come out of the package. I don't blame it. When I'm cold, I don't want to do anything either. So this is really evil because I'm using the bacon for the fat for the pan. I never buy bacon anymore because the price is outrageous for what amounts to um, pork trimmings. But that was on special. It's a fry. Okay, the bacon is pretty well fried. There's still a little fat in it that can render. These are called taquitos. Whoops. Which I just spilled on the floor. They are corn tortillas with meat or cheese or something wrapped in them. And, oh, I don't know if that'll show in the camera. Uh, here. See, it's a corn tortilla. And you fold something inside of it. These happen to be chicken, which are my favorites. I love taquitos. I hate making them. Because they're called taquitos or flautas. Which means flutes. When I make them, they look more like tubas than flutes. I always have to put um, toothpicks in them to hold them together. I can never get the tortillas soft enough to roll things up. They tend to break and split. Anyway, I will fry these in the bacon fat because I never eat bacon because it's always too expensive. And this is a special treat. I don't usually use animal fat to fry things. Um, with Mexican foods, with some Mexican foods, and paquitos is one of them, I do make the exception because a little pork fat adds a little extra flavor and makes it taste more like real home cooking. I don't do this often, but I got a real good deal on these taquitos. Apparently, this is the end of the line for 36 batches of Del Mex taquitos of any kind, so the store had to mark down for half price. So what would have cost me $7 cost me $3.50. I bought two packages of them, and they will last me a very long time. I'm making these instead of enchiladas, because ah, I'll make enchiladas on a better day. I've decided, to, I've decided to supplement the bacon fat with a little bit of pure canola oil, because there really isn't much fat, and it's really good bacon. I wasn't expecting that for $2, but it's cured with sugar and smoke, and the sugar is caramelizing in the pan and making it sticky. So the canola oil will help with that. Also, having enough of some kind of oil in the pan will help the taquitos get done quickly without one side getting scorched and the other side being raw and the center being icky. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, the enchiladas are just about done. So I'm going to try to show you my cheap way of dicing a onion so you don't have to get a cutting board dirty and mess up the whole house. I just cut through it a little bit in two directions. So it's kind of dicey. And then I hold it over the pan and cut it into the pan. That way I end up with nice thin little bits that will cook quickly. I like red onion because it's sweet. It doesn't give off a lot of gaseous um, fumes and make my eyes run and all that stuff. It's got a better flavor to it. There are some yellow onions I like too, but they better be the sweet kinds like Vidalias. Kinds that grow in Texas only once a year. Ooh, boy, when those onions come in season, I go ape shit. Okay, so there's some onion caramelizing. I'm making fake enchilada sauce. Out here in New Mexico, people are way into green chili, which is not authentic enchilada sauce, but people out here love it. So this is diced green chili. When it's not special, it's about 50 cents a can. This stuff isn't cheap, but it's got nice flavor. I always use mild. So I don't upset my tummy later. It shouldn't have to be 
an endurance test the next time I use the toilet. So that'll get some of that bacon flavor and some of that onion. I'm going to turn the heat down so I don't scorch anything. And it's going to make a good deal of sauce, but I'm not just going to use it for these taquitos. Because I will make chicken enchiladas when I'm feeling better. Probably tomorrow. I've got two chicken breasts to cook yesterday. You're going to get a video about my big adventures with ooh, chicken and mushrooms yesterday. This is cream. Real whipping cream. Look how cheap that is. That's half price. So this is an authentic enchilada sauce. For that, you'd use red dried chilies and a bunch of other stuff. And I don't have them, so I'm making fake green chili enchilada sauce. And because I'm tired and in pain and have a headache and I'm not feeling very moralized, more like demoralized. Isn't that pretty? With more cream because it wasn't enough. And a little bit of garlic powder because I'm too tired to fetch out the whole cloves of garlic that I've got frozen in the freezer and smash one. So this will do. Whoops. For this project but I take whole cloves of garlic and I freeze them and the skins fall off. I put them in a jar in the freezer. The skins fall off the minute you take them out. They're real easy to work with. They're already mushy so all you got to do is like smash them with a spatula. You don't have to dice them or anything like that. Smash them once the skin falls off. Smash them again and they're squished up for your meal. So there you go. Chicken enchiladas in a creamy um, green chili sauce. Took me about five minutes.